All right. Hello. Uh, my name is Urška Srshin, and I'm the co-founder and CPO of Bellabit. Uh, today, the title of my talk was supposed to be designing wearables for women, as our newest product called The Leaf is a health tracker that is designed to help women track their activity, sleep, menstrual cycle, and tackle stress through breathing exercises or meditation. And what our users really love about our product is that it, it is designed as a delicate piece of jewelry that they can wear as a bracelet, a necklace, or a clip. So it's practical and appropriate for every occasion and every attire. But I didn't want to limit myself just on wearables, because essentially Bellabit is a company developing wearables, devices, and other tech products that help women track their health and stay healthy throughout different stages of their lives. So I wanted to talk about designing technology for women and the importance of developing technology for women. We started Balabit three years ago uh, when we found a problem that my mother was facing at her work every day. She's an obstetrician gynecologist and was heading a perinatology department at a university clinical center in Ljubljana, Slovenia, where I'm originally from. And she was facing a problem that most health, pr health pr practitioners out there are facing, and that is that health sector is overburdened by patients and the lack of health providers. And when we saw that problem, we thought that, of course, the obvious solution lies in tech. And we started to develop a system that would enable patients to do small routine checkups at home and send all the data to their care provider seamlessly, which would prevent them from going to the hospital unnecessarily and would enable patients, uh, doctors, to have extended data on their patients. But as we started to test our system, we saw that this is, of course, a huge challenge, not for the obvious reasons of changing the healthcare being one of the most difficult tasks in the world, but because the technology we were using was inappropriate for the user we were dealing with. The devices we were, presented, we were presenting to our expectant mothers brought more discomfort than reassurance. So that opened a whole new perspective on the way technology is designed, not just in health sector, but for women. And even though Bellabit today is not developing just for pregnant women anymore, that experience of working with the most engaged and motivated but sensitive user influence the way we design technology today. So when a company proclaims that they're going to be designing technology just for women, of course, the obvious question you get is, is there a market big enough? Or what is their difference? Or do even women like technology? Even though there is a lot of discourse about the lack of women in technology as developers and creators of products, there is a little less talk about women as users of technology. Even though there is less women developing technology, and of course, because of that, there is less products developed with female users specifically in mind, it doesn't mean that women don't like technology. Oh, sorry. The primary buyer and user of private uh, of private and household technology is actually woman. And not does she only care what kind of technology she's using, but also what kind of technology she's bringing into her home. So companies, when they're, they're, they are developing devices for tracking health, shouldn't be just thinking about their early adopter customer, which is 20-something, probably dude, but mama bear. Their customers are going to be mama bears. And you shouldn't ask her whether she likes technology, but whether she likes how your technology is built. Because women are hard to please. I can say that because I'm a woman. But men usually get really excited about 
the new features and devices and all the specifications around it. But women tend to look at products as a whole. They will decide whether they like your design, they're going to ask a lot of questions, they're going to study the features, but they're really interested in what kind of benefits they're getting from your device. Is it really worth their money? And when they're, they're buying your product, they're asking a couple of really important questions. And that, it, that is, is your device safe to use in their body proximity? What are you doing with their data? What is she getting out of it? And then she's going to look at your design, but not just design of the exterior, but how your features are designed. It's really important for companies in the healthcare sector to start developing features that are specifically adjusted to the female user. As a female entrepreneur developing technology for women, I often get asked, why do I think that so many health tracking pro products totally forget about female fertility or period tracking? And they expect that I will answer because mostly men are making them. I think that is part of the reason, but I don't think that is the biggest reason. I see that as a legacy of general neglect and stigmatization of women's health. Women's health is so much more than just period tracking. And companies who are planning to develop technology for women should engage and encourage discourse about women's health and then engage with their users and healthcare providers to develop features that can help track different aspects of women's health and keep up with their ever-changing health situation. As in your product, women look differently than men to their health. They see it as a whole. They're not interested just in some flat statistics about their activity. They're equally interested about their body and mind. And that is why at Balabit, we are taking a holistic approach towards health tracking, allowing them to stay focused on their body and relieving from stress through breathing exercises. Women are also differently motivated to self-track and why do they want to use technology to stay healthy as that taught us through developing home monitoring system. And they can often be put off by motivation, motivational reasons that men are driven by, such as competition. And now we've come to the surface of our devices. Of course, as a designer, I'm very much interested not just in how we design, design our features, but how we design the shell the technology is wrapped into. That's why at Bellabit, we started to rethink the whole concept of designing technology. We wanted to break the cold and clunky surface of tech and give it a warm and humane appeal. That's why we used natural wood as our main material in designing our technology. So that our products are not just safe to use, but also appear safe to use, which is especially important in the most sensitive periods of women's life. So, I hope that a couple of these insights that we learn through our process will motivate other com companies that are not necessarily just specializing for women's technology to rethink what is women's health and how to approach a female user of technology. Thank you very much. <laughs>